Good morning, friends. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen. I live here with my husband, Chris, and our nine-month-old Malachi, who is currently taking a nap. We have a lot of companion animals here, permaculture gardens, and we love the lifestyle that we live, and we just want to share it with you. So join us today as we introduce you to our vegan homestead. You guys enjoying the new clover? <laughs> Right now I'm here with the goats while Chris finishes up the chores for the morning. Currently he's getting ready to feed the chickens. Um, we have three chicken coops. We have a main, a flock of full-size chickens, a flock of bantam silkies, and then we have two roosters who live together because they just didn't do super well with hens. So Chris is getting their feed ready and he's going to to give it to them. I'll show you guys that in a minute. It's a beautiful morning here. Summer, summer morning, nice and hot. Um, we're gonna make this quick outside so we can get inside because I did not bring the baby monitor out with me. So let me turn you guys around so you can meet our two roosters. We have Dwight and Jim, Jim Jr. Um, and Chris is moving this chicken tractor right now that we built. Is that supposed to not be attached? No, it just fell off. And I haven't reattached it yet. <laughs> you seem to enjoy the clover. Yeah. So both of these roosters hatched out on our farm and back when, a few years back when we hatched out chickens here. And one important thing is if you're going to have chickens on a homestead, you really have to think about what you're going to do with roosters. Since we're a vegan homestead, we don't kill any animals. We have to find a way to make it work with all the animals here. And with these roosters, we were having some aggression issues. We were having some mating issues and dominance issues with the hens. Um, and so we ended up separating them from hens and they live together peacefully. Got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. Honey, Good morning, ladies. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much. Oh, Meredith Gray, John Ralphio. Where's Bollywood? He's still in there. He's guarding his broody he always, hens. He always comes out. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, why do we have chickens if we don't eat eggs? When we first got chickens, we did eat eggs. Um, and then over time, we've eaten less and less eggs. Every now and then we'll use the eggs. But for the most part, we just feed them back to the chickens or compost them, things like that. They're just here to live out their lives. We have them in these secure runs because we've had a number of predator issues and we do have hawks hanging around here sometimes so we have to have them in pretty secure conditions for them to be safe from predators one day we'd love to have a livestock guardian dog that we can let out with all the animals so that they can have more free range but that's one thing you really need to consider if you want to have chickens is how you're going to handle roosters what you're going to do with your roosters and how you're going to keep them safe from predators Yeah, let's go inside and have some coffee. Check on the Malachi. Yeah, make sure to check on Malachi. He was sleeping the last time yeah. I checked. Before we go inside, I wanna show you just some gorgeous flowers real quick over in one of our flower gardens. Now it's time to head in because we haven't had coffee yet this morning. Let's walk past the kitchen garden as we go inside. I have a sunflower that's just about to bloom, which I want to show you real quick. I've been running most of my life. Blowing smoke.
drinking out of a regular mug but has to drink out of a, like a Yeti or something like that because their coffee always gets too cold before they're they're done. I if I have my coffee in any other mug, I've heated up at least three or four times, and if it's in here, I still have to take it out and heat it up at least once because I drink coffee slow and I like it really hot. But this Yeti has been a huge help, especially being a mom. So Malachi is nine months almost, nine months next week, and he is on about like two to three meals a day right now. We're trying to do breakfast and like either a lunch or dinner. Right now he's eating bananas and Cheerios and we're making him just a couple pieces, like little pieces of toast with peanut butter on it. We are in the garden now and we are gonna harvest lunch. So for lunch I have planned a vegan buffalo chicken style salad. We're gonna use romaine and basil from the garden as well as I'm gonna go pick an onion and some banana peppers. Um, and then we're gonna head inside and make a quick salad for lunch. So let's go ahead and pick our meal. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life away It's super, super hot out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring all this stuff into the kitchen. <gasps> okay, it's time to make lunch. So I got romaine, cucumbers, a jalapeno, a red onion. Um, I got some beans that I'm gonna saute and put on the salad because they're super delicious. And I'm gonna saute some vegan chicken nuggets to add and add some avocado that I have in the fridge. Um, and yeah, super excited about lunch. I'm really hungry. Now that I made the salad, it's time to eat and enjoy lunch. We'll catch up with you guys later. It is blackberry season and it's been a few days since we picked blackberries so we really need to go out there and pick the blackberries before they get overripe and fall off the plant. So let's head over. We're bringing Malachi. It's going to rain soon so we have a, a limited amount of time to get this done. Um, but we're going to get this done. We're going to get the blackberries harvested and I have my harvest hod as well as some berry containers or I don't know, harvest containers. Okay, let's do it. Lead the way. Lead the way. In circles, but I'm still on the ground. It's a dizzy day. Here we are. I would give love to get away. Almost done picking blackberries. He loves blackberries. Got that. I think it's like about a quart right there. Then almost got a pint over here. And there's still apparently a lot in there. It's just 
We're probably going to want to call it quits soon and go inside because it's about to rain. We're in the area that used to be our orchard and food forest, but we're actually moving our orchard and food forest. Long story, I'll eventually record a video all about that. Yeah, but we did just find four almost ripe peaches on our peach tree. So I'm really excited about that because we haven't gotten any fruit off of any of the fruit trees and most of them died because of deer and just different issues we ran into. We learned a lot of lessons though and we're really excited to have peaches and of course we love having all the blackberries that we've gotten. Oh, there's Thunder. Okay, boo-boo, let's head inside. As you can see, despite having lots of issues in the garden this year, it does look pretty. I'm just gonna enjoy having this beautiful space, even though it has been a bit of a disaster this year. And if you haven't been following along, we did have our worst garden year ever this year because of just wacky weather. Uh, tons of rain and cool weather led to just a lot of disease as well as abundance of pest issues. So I am focusing my effort into the fall garden right now and I'm kind of just accepting it for what it is and looking at it as an opportunity to rest and not focus as much on preserving the harvest this year, just focus more on preserving my time with this little man. I wanted to bring you guys along with me because I'm going to go check on our peaches. We have four peaches this year, but four is more than we've ever had, aka one would be more than we've ever had. Um, but I wanted to check and see if they're ready. Oh,